know, go somewhere warm, you know, and get to compete against other guys that, you know, aren't on the team. Um, yeah, in a position as a closer, um, you can't hope that you get in there, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, well, if you get in you there, you know. You want to play, but yeah. you don't want to. Yeah, you know, but if I do get in, usually we are winning, so, you know, that's not a bad thing. So much of your uh, preparation at your position has to be mental. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily have to be outside to get those reps in. Yeah. What's your mental prep like then, like in the offseason? Um, you know, the mental preparation is more of, you know, looking at watching batting practice, you know, watching hitters during the, you know, first couple innings um, and seeing, you know, what might be effective against them later in the game. How much have you guys been outside? Uh, we've been outside the last couple of days this week, um, and we actually scrimmaged. I think it was last week. We got outside, you know, throw live, live batters, and that was, that was really beneficial. I think. How, how does that help? I mean, there's some common sense mm -hmm. reasons, but how would you characterize it? Um, getting be outside, throwing off a dirt mound is a lot different than throwing off a turf mound inside, and I think that's part of the biggest thing. I felt like I had my legs under me a little bit um, more when I'm out here. That was probably the biggest thing for me. Would you, when when you're okay, you got it. Yeah. 13 saves last year and 14 chances, excellent year. Do you, are you mindful of coming back, maybe understanding the hitters will adjust to you, and do you have to make an adjustment again? Um, you know, I'd, I'd think about making an adjustment, you know, if they, you know, start to figure things out and start to, you know, hit off me. But, you know, other than that, I'm more focused on, you know, going out there and doing what I'm good at. So, Which is? You know, throw, you know fastball, you know, arm side, you know, staying down, getting ground balls. Chad, how's the rest of the bullpen looking this year? Um, you know, I think we have uh, a lot more experience coming back in the bullpen, and I think the freshmen, you know, will be add, able to add something to that, um, you know, especially with the guys coming back for their second year. They've gotten out there. They know what it's like. And, you know, you have guys come back off injuries, and it'll, you know, help add some depth. I know you came in and, you know, you take over that closer role right away. What do these guys have to do to earn prominent roles as freshmen right now? Um, I think they just ha need to go out there and compete. Um, as freshmen, you know, obviously those first one or two times it might be you know, a little nerve-wracking, but the sooner you get comfortable, the better, I think. And you don't, you know, worry about the circumstances as much. You just worry about what you're doing out there. For some of, the, some of those guys maybe that are going to come out of the senior sure these guys, maybe in key spots. Um, I think, you know, Paul Clawson and Connor Curry, they'll both be out there. Um, Robbie will be out there again. Uh, McSteen, Fisher coming back, that'll be big. Um, but I think everyone's going to get their shot, to be honest. Is there kind of a camaraderie among you bullpen? Yeah, there's a, there's a, it's a, it's a family down there. Um, you know, you're always, you know, cheering each other on, have each other's backs. You guys have any superstitions or, or kind of traditions that you do down there? Or? Uh, not that I can think of, no, not really. Who's the craziest guy down in the bullpen? Craziest guy in the bullpen? Uh, might be Jake Baker, our bullpen catcher. He's pretty, really? pretty good guy, yeah. So you tell jokes or just Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's just, he's, um, you know, always knows how to keep guys, you know, uh, in a good mood, you know, you know, not worried too much, keep them, you know, stre not, you know, keep them de-stressed. Stuff like that. Do you ever want to be a starter at any point, or do you? Yeah, you if, if that's what you know helps the team the most, then I'm ready to do that. What have you seen from Al Alvarado? Might be mm. joining you in the bullpen mm -hmm. a little bit. What, what what have you seen from him? He's got a live arm, you know, and yeah, oh yeah, a live arm, you know, and that also creates you know good off speed pitches, you know, with that arm speed. Um, you know, he pitched up up in the Cape when we were there for an inning. I know, and he. It's just I think it's just a matter of time till he feels comfortable out there. To be honest, uh, in the Cape Cod League, we're on the same summer team. What, what, what month are we talking about? Um, August, I think. Uh, July? No, July. It'd have been July. So you saw him throwing. Yeah. In. Mm -hmm. How did it go? It went well. He struck out the three guys. You know, he got out. Um, he gave up two hits, but you know that's gonna happen up there. Gave up a couple hits, but struck out three. Yeah, struck out three. You know, so he's got some good stuff to work with. Hey, um, think about. I don't know if you've ever heard about this place when it was hosting regionals, mm -hmm. super regionals, mm -hmm. last time was 08. Have you heard anything? Like, have you heard older guys talk about it at all? I mean, I'm sure, I, we really heard much about it, but, you know, we want to get back to that point. I mean, I'm sure it was a crazy atmosphere here with the Husker fans in Lincoln. Is that something, that, I mean, do you, talk, do you guys talk about that much, or is it just something in the back of your mind? No, I mean, we, we brought it up, you know, at the beginning of the season, that's definitely a goal, you know, to host regionals and super regionals, so we can. Um, that's what we're looking forward to. That's the next step I think you have to take. It's super competitive, you know, the best guys um, from around the country come up there, and it's really good competition that, that you know, betters yourself as a player. Sports week at a series, what's your main goal, obviously, besides the win? Um, I think the biggest goal for us this weekend is just, you know, to uh, get comfortable playing together as a team um, and building that chemistry would be big.